Yo guys, what's up? It's Studio, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the secret, cool applications that are in Discord. So let's get right in. So this is actually a very original idea, no one's ever made it, not custom or sound, or no, no one's ever made it, you know, super, super original. But forget about that. Let's focus on the actual topic. So let's get right into it once again. So the first one I actually have to show you guys is the public release. And most of you guys probably know about this. But um, it's actually technically a secret one. It's not actually a lot of people know about it. So what you have to do to get to this download is you actually just go to www or https uh, slash slash discord.com slash new slash download. And once you're at the download page, you're just going to scroll down uh, all the way to um, download public test build. And it's really just that easy. You press what you're on and it immediately starts to download. And so uh, basically what this uh, public test build is, is it just um, releases updates a little sooner than um, the normal Discord. You'll get bugs sometimes, but it's just a cooler way to get newer features. It's basically the same thing, though. So now that we're inside of this public test build, I'm just going to show you around. It's really nothing that special. Uh, as you can see, it's basically the same thing. It's the same icon. Uh, yeah, basically the same thing as normal Discord. It's nothing super special here. The only exclusive thing about this public test build is that you get updates which I said earlier you get updates a little sooner than the public so next we actually have discord canary and a lot of these um I told you already you're not gonna low know about but um this one's actually very special because you it's the same thing as public test build but you get to submit bugs and so you say you have, see a bug you can submit it because they are very active in canary so if you're using Canary, you're going to get a lot of bugs, and then you can submit bugs, and you can get special tags, which I'll show you right in a second. So you go ahead and scroll down here, and click on the one that you need. Uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, Linux, Tar, whatever you have, and it'll update down here. And as you can see, it's a little different uh, in this one, because it actually, uh, once I exit out of here, it has a yellow icon so if I go here it's a yellow icon so discord canary right there now you're gonna want to go ahead and join discord test suites once you have this downloaded and um, signed into because that's basically what you're gonna be using it for so once you're in here um, you're gonna see that there's a lot of uh, bug squashers and mods and these are the people that actually um, kind of work for discord or they uh, look for bugs on this version let me go to full screen. And you can see that these people will all have tags right here. Verified bot developer, but that's not important. We're looking for this one, Discord Bug Hunter. And you get this um, by being a bug squasher. Uh, it's really cool. I think it's a cool tag that you can definitely try out easily. Just look around for some bugs, report them, and you'll probably get this tag. And as you can see here on the right, uh, there actually is a Discord employee. And so is one right here. These are the tester staff. These are the people that test uh, Discord before it gets released to the public. So all these people in this Discord probably are on Canary or on the next one that I'm going to be showing you. Or even the public test build. And they're looking for bugs and they're reporting them. And they're just fixing them, you know. And the last one I'm going to be showing you is uh, Discord development. So I already had this downloaded. Um, but I'm going to download it again just so I can show you. You're going to type in this special link and it will automatically download once you have the link in. If you are on Windows, you're going to type in Win. If you're on Linux, you're going to type in Lin. And if you're on um, Mac, I forgot where you have to type in, but I'll put it in the description. I'll put all these links in the description so you can download them. So I'm going to type in Win. And it automatically downloads here, as you can see. And once it's downloaded, you can open it.
So it's starting right here, you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in now. And there's nothing really too special about this one, um, except that it's basically like Discord Canary. It's really just an unused version of it that um, isn't updated anymore. So you get the same bugs, you get to analyze the same bugs. But there's nothing really special about it except it's really cool icon. So you can see it down here. We have Discord Canary, which is yellow. Normal Discord, public chat below or normal Discord is blue. And then Discord development is black. And you see here that it looks really cool. It's the only reason I would really use it is for the look. Otherwise, I would use Canary or normal Discord. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, remember to uh, like the video so it gets shown to more people so they can see what this video is all about. Maybe it'll help them out. Remember to subscribe for more content like this if you enjoyed. And comment down below which one you're going to be using because I'm really interested to see which one you're going to be using. If it's the public test build, canary, or developer development mode. Um, I personally suggest using all of them at least once just to check them out. They're really fun and I love the icons that they get. And remember when you're subscribing to turn on those post notifications so you are updated or notified whenever I upload. Remember, that's really important if you want to find out all the newest stuff right when it is uploaded. So, yeah. Without further ado, I will see you all next time I upload. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.